I live in a small block of three flats. Our flat is facing the street, so there are two other flats behind us. My next door neighbours are a couple of elderly gentlemen who, as expected, are very good neighbours who generally keep to themselves and don't interrupt anyone else. Since we've been here, the end flat at the back has had a number of young couples move in and then move out only a few months later. Generally speaking, the end flat has been a place of fighting, screaming, crying, and sometimes even physical abuse. Last year, I had to call the police because of the terrible cries coming from within. Luckily, everyone was okay, and the couple soon moved out and went their separate ways. The new couple who moved in earlier this year have generally been okay. Sure, they've had a couple of loud arguments, but otherwise have kept to themselves. On Saturday afternoon, they came down to my unit and knocked on the door. It's the first time they've ever made contact with us in all honesty. The couple are only young and couldn't be much older than say 23 or 24. Anyway, they told me that they were planning to have a Christmas party on Saturday night. My first thought was that they were going to invite us to the party, not that we would have gone, as we don't really know them very well and we have two small children who need to get to bed early. But no, instead they asked me if it would be okay for them to have the party. They were basically asking permission. They told me that they were planning to invite about 10 guests and that they would be finishing up at around midnight. I couldn't believe it. They were actually being very considerate of their neighbours. Of course I told them, no worries, go ahead, have some fun. I thanked them for letting us know and they seemed very happy that we were in agreement. Not that I would ever deny a young couple from having a Christmas party. Tis the season to be jolly, right? However, it goes to show you that society isn't completely lost. At least some of Australia's youth aren't completely self-absorbed and narcissistic. In the end, the party went well. There was a little bit of loud music, but it didn't keep us up. On a side note, I got a new job at the local university helping students over the summer break, as well as participating in lots of fairly mundane office work. I didn't really want the job, but I was offered it, and it pays quite well. Furthermore, it's only for 10 weeks, and I get 10 days off over Christmas, so I thought I'd better take it. I don't particularly like the job, and with my children being home over the school holidays, I haven't had much time to do what I really want to do, for example, make these videos. But that's certainly going to change next year. I haven't got the will or the motivation to continue doing these small, casual, academic, somewhat boring jobs. I think I might take a year off just to focus on things that I'd like to do. Things like helping out at my children's schools and making more videos for this channel. Whether it works out or not, it doesn't really matter, but I need a break from working for someone else. Ultimately, I need to find a way to be financially independent. As you've probably already gathered from my other videos, I don't like work. I especially don't like full-time work. I find it irritating, demeaning at times, and comparable to a modern form of slavery. Luckily, I've got myself completely out of debt and have saved up enough money to be able to take a year off without too much worry. Hopefully, I won't ever have to go back. Anyway, I wish you all a happy and safe holiday and I hope that the new year offers you many great opportunities. Cheers.